two-seat terrafugia transition, popularly referred to as a flying car, but more appropriately termed a roadable aircraft, flew for the first time on March 5th at Plattsburgh International Airport in Plattsburgh, New York. It was piloted by Phil Mateer, a retired U.S. Air Force colonel, who described the flight as remarkably unremarkable, which is actually among the more pleasant things a test pilot could have to say after a first flight. Observant pilots will likely note that the aircraft broke ground near the 5,000-foot marker on the runway and exhibited large control deflections in most images released by the company. They might also see the aerodynamic spades visible on the elevator to help lighten the controls. But as the first flight of a prototype aircraft and without further information from the company, these observations should not yet be used to draw conclusions about the aircraft's potential performance. For now, congratulations should be enough. The transition's cabin is a unique space where flight displays and a steering wheel meet fold-away flight controls, and it's from there that the electrically folded wings are actuated and locked by patent-pending mechanisms. The transition is powered by a 100-horsepower Rotax 912S that burns auto fuel and does double duty, and drives the front wheels to highway speeds when the vehicle is acting like a car, and pushes the aircraft to about 115 miles per hour over 450 miles in flight. All that's possible in part because of the transition's carbon fiber frame that weighs under 890 pounds when empty and no more than 1,320 pounds when full of fuel and passengers. It's intended as a light sport aircraft, which means it will take less money to learn to fly a transition than it would a traditional aircraft, but it will also come with some restrictions. Visit avweb.com, search for Terrafugia to read the latest details.